Hello, it's Dakwa. Welcome back to school for 2021. Okay, today we will learn about a uh, science process scale. Okay, which is known as SPS. So actually, we have learned about science process scale from year one to year five. Okay, in year six, we just want to refresh back the science, all the science process scale that we have learned. Okay, what is a science process scale? Science process scale is one of the scientific skills components that are needed to seek answers for a problem or to make a systematic decision to a matter. Okay, uh, this is when we want to make a conclusion or we want to make a decision to a matter. We will use science process scale systematically to obtain uh, the decision. Okay, through SPS. So, let's go further. Now, let's refresh back uh, the science process skill that we have learned so far. Okay, there are, there are 12 science process skills that we have learned so far. That is observing. Okay, that observing is when we, we have to use our five senses to observe the characteristic or the uh, physical appearance of the things that we want to observe. Then classifying, okay, when we put uh, the things or any uh, any matter into its, uh, its categories. Okay, next measuring and using numbers when we have to use anything regarding numbers. And then make inference, then predicting when we have to uh, predict what we have, what we want, uh, the uh, future event. Next is communicating when we have to write and draw any table or any graphic. Then using space relationship when we have to carry a certain activity in certain amount of time. Then interpreting data. Okay. Next is. Uh, operational definition okay next is controlling variable making hypothesis where we make an initial initial expectation for the science event okay and the last one that consists most of the science process skill is experimenting experimenting is when we want to carry out any investigation so we have to combine um, more than one science process skill during we during we carry out an experiment okay okay i i know you will ask me when should we use the sps okay now back to definition of the sps spf itself is one of the scientific skill component that are needed to seek answers for a problem or to make a systematic decision to a matter. So, when we want to use the SPS, we will use the SPS when we carry out an impact and uh, scientific investigation. Okay, like the, this little child say in, in here. Okay, so yes, absolutely. We have to use our SPLs when we carry out an investigation or experiment. Now, let's use the SPS to solve this matter okay did you see all the hot air balloons in the in this picture up there so let's look at this air balloons have you ever thought why do hot air balloons fly at different heights okay you can, as you can see the hot air balloons in here okay here the, okay they are fly in different height they are uh, some hot air balloons fly uh, more higher than the other okay now using the sps we will try to find out about this okay now let's go okay now we want to find the answer for the question why do hot air balloons fly at different heights but before that we have to make our own hot air balloon first okay let's check out the next slide So, students, you can refer to textbook page uh, 2 and 3 to see the process of making the hot air balloon. Okay, 
for hot air balloon, uh, the apparatus that we need is <coughs> the uh, brown paper or any paper, cardstock, okay, ruler, marker pen, scissors, double sided tape, adhesive tape, fine wires, pack wax burner or matches. Either you can use wax burner or you can use candle. Okay, so the first of all, <coughs> First of all, we have to cut the brown paper into four sections of the same size. Then, paste the double-sided tape on the side of the brown paper. Join the four pieces of the paper to form a dome. Okay, next, join the both ends of the long cut stop using adhesive tape to form a circular frame. So, this is the base for the dome. Okay, next, connect two fine wires on each other over the frame. This is where we want to cut, uh, to put the uh, candle at the center of the base. Okay. Next, find a hole in the wax burner and insert the wire. Bend the wire so that the wax burner will not come off easily. Okay, then stick the base uh, of the dome to the frame with the uh, fixed wax burner. Okay, and then our <coughs> hot air balloons have finished, has completed. Okay, then uh, after that we can uh, hold the top and the bottom of the mini hot air balloon, then light up the wax burner. So, if uh, student, if you can make it, then you uh, can do it. But if you cannot, okay, there is a video that I provided to see how uh, the student make and fly the uh, hot air balloons. Okay, so don't worry, just follow con uh, this uh, video until the end of the lesson. So before uh, you apply the hot air balloon, okay, I want you predict. Okay, can you predict what will happen to the air balloon before it can fly? Okay, what happened to the air, uh, to the air balloon? So the air balloon did it uh, getting uh, heavier or it is it is getting um, lighter? Okay, we will see on the next slide. Okay, actually, okay, before uh, the air balloon fly up, okay, fly up, up in the air, okay, actually, the air inside the balloon, okay, inside the balloon, there is an air that expand when heated, okay, the gas molecule will expand when heated and it will become lighter, so that makes the hot air balloon goes up in the air, alright. Okay, now what will happen if the size of the air balloon changes? Okay, for the next activity, we'll, I will show you a video uh, or a group of students that carry out an, an activity, okay, to find out if the size of uh, the air balloon here, the size of the air balloon here, okay, uh, will affect the time of the air balloon flies okay did the size of the balloon this is the bigger one and this is the uh, smaller one will affect the time of the air balloon flies in the air so before that the student can state the early hypothesis okay you can guess uh, what will happen uh, okay about the uh, relationship between the balloon size and the time of the balloon uh, fly which will be last longer in the air the larger balloon or the small size air balloon so you can guess and after you watch this video okay you can find out what what truly happened okay now let's proceed with the next video the hot air balloon that was carried out by Jake Kusofwan and all his pupils okay let's go and see the uh, video Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Pada hari ini uh, Akan diadakan satu eksperimen Untuk refresh semula uh, Kemahiran proses sains dalam kalangan Murid-murid uh, tahun 6 
Jadi pada hari ini kelihatan mereka telah uh, membawa belon udara panas untuk diuji beberapa kemerah proses sains yang boleh dikenal pasti pada hari ini. Kami akan menaikkan belon udara yang bersaiz lebih kecil dan akan mencatatkan tempoh masa penerbangan. Kami akan menaikkan belon udara yang lebih besar dan mencatatkan masa penerbangannya. Kesimpulannya ialah jika uh, saiz belon udara bertambah maka masa penerbangan bertambah. So from the investigation that uh, were carried out in the video, we found that okay the balloon size affects the uh, balloon flying time. Okay, the conclusion that can be made is the larger the balloon size, the longer the balloon flight time. So the uh, the larger the balloon size, the longer the balloon will last up in the air compared to, to the smaller one. So in this learning activity, there are some some size process skill that have been used. That are one is observing. We observe uh, the balloon, okay, the balloon flight time, and then we are make the we make the inference, okay, we make the we make the inference for the reason why the balloons can fly next we predict we predict uh, which one will last longer the smaller balloon or the larger balloon next controlling variable okay when we compare the size of the balloon we manipulate the size of the balloon okay then we make it, we make an hypothesis okay the early prediction the early guessing for the size and the flight time okay and the last one we are doing some experiment we carry out an experiment okay to see whether the uh, theory can be proven true so <coughs> for year six takwa of SKSKL, thank you uh, for watching this video so your assignment is please copy and answer the question in the textbook page five Okay, uh, copy and answer this into your exercise book and do give me a response of your work. Please screenshot and send it to me. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. We will see another uh, in the in the another video. Okay, six takwa. Bye.